Warning, watching this video may lower your social credit score. If you're still here, then let us hit the like button and traverse the sands of time to understand the tale of a resilient people, the Igers, marked by ascension, decline, and a modern day struggle for survival. In 744 AD, the Uyghurs rose to power with the establishment of the Uyghur Khaganate. During this time, their civilization thrived, excelling in arts, science, and diplomacy. From the steppes of Central Asia, the influence of the Uyghur Khaganate extended across continents, from Persia to the Byzantine Empire, marking their golden age. However, by 840 AD, the Khaganate crumbled under the weight of famines, internal conflict, and Kyrgyz invasions, marking the start of a period of decline and dispersion. The Uyghurs migrated to the Tarim Basin, today's Xinjiang, establishing the Kingdom of Kocho in the 10th century. Over the next centuries, this kingdom retained Uyghur culture amidst shifting powers. During the Silk Road era, Uyghur cities like Kashgar became bustling trade hubs. Yet, under the Mongol Empire's dominance, the Uyghurs became subjects, albeit valued for their administrative skills. From the 14th to the 17th centuries, the Uyghurs lived under the Chagatai Khanate and later the Dzungar Khanate. Their cultural identity persisted, subtly interweaving with the influences of these ruling powers. The Uyghur region came under Chinese rule during the Qing dynasty in the 18th century, an era marked by resistance and uprisings as the Uyghurs strived to maintain their distinct identity. The 20th century saw major demographic shifts with an influx of Han Chinese settlers into Xinjiang post-1949. This led to growing tensions and marginalization of the Uyghur culture. Today, the Uyghurs face a dire situation. As they are Muslims and quite different from the Han Chinese, then by the looks of it, the Chinese central government has decided to eradicate the nation. Uyghurs are actively being subjected to mass detention, forced labor. Their culture is being erased by the suppression of the Uyghur language, restrictions on practicing Islam, and the destruction of Uyghur cemeteries, and other cultural landmarks. Reports also suggest that the Chinese government has carried out an extensive campaign to reduce the Uyghur population in Xinjiang. This reportedly includes forced sterilizations, abortions, and the implementation of strict birth control policies. Uyghur women have been also coerced into marriages with Han Chinese men. This is seen by critics as a part of the government's strategy to assimilate the Uyghur population and dilute Uyghur cultural identity. These accounts point towards what many are calling a genocide, and under this relentless assault, with no help coming, it remains to see how long the Uyghurs can hold out before they will vanish to the annals of history. Thank you for watching.